I think uh, we are in a position today where the trust between the management and the employees is at its poorest. And uh, it is very important if we want to drive growth and we want to drive innovation as the center stage of growth that we bring the employees in the center stage of our investment. Uh, when I say center stage of investment, it is it is because uh, of four questions. Number one, what is the core business we are in? And the answer to that is the core business we are in is to create differentiated value for our customers. The second is uh, where does this value get created? And the answer is in the interface of our employees and our customers. The third is who creates the differentiated value which helps us grow faster than our competitors? And the answer is, it is our employees who create the differentiated value. Thus, if all the above three are correct, then what should the business of managers and management be? And the answer is, the business of managers and management has to be to enthuse, encourage, enable the employees in the value zone to create the differentiated value so that you can grow faster. And that is the reason the concept of employees first, customer second really was born. I think the HR role, uh, what really has happened is that a lot of managers have delegated the responsibility of enthusing, encouraging, enabling, and motivating the employees to HR, which is wrong, because that is the manager's responsibility. So HR roles within HCL Technologies is actually to make sure that the managers do their job, uh, which is to take care of employees. And HR's role is to be the enabler, uh, to be the trainer of managers, uh, to be able to come up with new ideas of how in, how managers can manage the employees rather than HR managing the employees. The day we delegate the responsibility of motivating our employees uh, to HR, we make, a, we make a huge mistake. If you are a manager, then it's your responsibility to make sure you motivate the employees, you enthuse them, you encourage them because you can do a much better job than HR can do. HR can only innovate on how you motivate them, but they can't motivate on your behalf. I think the HR professional are, within HCL are finding a fantastic uh, growth opportunity for them because for the first time they can bring, they are in the business of ideas. Uh, otherwise most of the organizations HR are more hated uh, than loved uh, because they are the carrier of bad news and the managers get away by saying it is not my decision, it is HR decision and you know again they got it wrong. And at HCL that is not true because our decisions are managers decision. And therefore HR are a professional help uh, to the managers to manage their employees better. So suddenly the respect which is there in our organization for HR professional is significantly higher than any other organization because they are not tasked with just operations. Here they are tasked with developing the managers so that he can become a better man manager than he today is. So he seeks professional advice from HR which is not true in many organizations today. I believe HR is a very specialized function. Uh, it's like sales, it's like marketing, it's like finance. Uh, these are uh, very important functions in an organization which need significant amount of innovation. And there are pro trained professionals which are required to execute them. So it is true that some business guys have a, have a flair for HR and therefore they can do a good HR job, but I have personally believed that if you really want to uh, run a good HR, then you have to bring professionals there who know how to counsel, who know how to develop, who know how to do a long-term 5-10 year strategic planning, who know how to identify talent, who know how to develop a talent, who know how to write a job definition which is going to be exist 5 years from now, and who know how to rationalize the spend on talent development uh, so that you spend that money on the right talent so that five years, ten years down the line, you remain as competitive as you are today. I think these are complex topics which need professionals. And I personally believe that the best professionals in the HR world is who should you should take to work in your organization and my organization.